Air fryers are a popular appliance for a good reason. They can save you time, effort, and even a little bit of a waistline. But picking the right one in a sea of options can be daunting. Before we really dive deep into what our testing lab found, we want to give you a quick overview of what each appliance can do. The most straightforward is the Ninja, being a pretty standard high-performing air fryer. It's got some extra features like dehydration and bake settings, plus a max crisp setting. It has the smallest capacity of the bunch, but can still hold up to three pounds of chicken wings. It costs $170. Next up is the Instant Vortex. It also has mostly straightforward air fryer functions, with the major feature being that it has two separate frying baskets that you can program to cook different kinds of food at the same time. Each basket can hold about two and a half pounds of chicken wings, and that can feed a family of five. Otherwise, it has the usual air fryer bonus settings that the Ninja also has, and is also $170. <laughs> Lastly is the Breville. It's more of a do-it-all device, being able to act as a standard oven, toaster, dehydrator, slow cooker, dough proofer, and yes, an air fryer. It's large enough to hold a whole, albeit smaller bird, or a small pizza, if that's easier to picture. But with all these functions comes an expensive price of $500. Spoiler alert, it's worth it in the right kitchen. First, we have versatility. Thanks to the Breville's sheer amount of cooking functions that all work wonderfully, and the double baskets of the Instant Vortex, both appliances score perfect tens. The Ninja doesn't have any special functions other than an air fryer's general versatility, plus its capacity is on the smaller side of the three, so it only gets an eight. Next is crispiness and evenness of cooking. In first place comes the Breville at nine with consistently crispy performance across all of our test foods, being French fries, chicken wings, hot dogs, Brussels sprouts, and bacon. One point was lost due to some slight charring on the wings and a bit of chewiness on the bacon, both symptoms of slightly uneven cooking. Next is the Instant Vortex at an eight. It wasn't able to consistently crisp foods as well as they could be, while also slightly over crisping foods at the edge of the baskets. There was also an odd tendency for the right basket to produce slightly crispier results. Last is the Ninja at a seven. Its crispiness was consistently a little too much or not quite enough. Plus foods came out a little bit drier. Let's consider the overall performance scores. Despite the issues we've covered above, we'd still give the Ninja a nine. It's the testing lab's job to be nitpicky, but it's also their job to be honest. And they honestly believe it is still a strong choice of an air fryer for the right person. The Instant Vortex gets a nine for the small inconsistencies and unevenness. The Breville gets a 9.5 for its exceptional versatility and performance, but to again be nitpicky, it wasn't technically perfect. Outside of performance, it's also important to test how nice it feels to use these air fryers in general. First, let's talk about their appearance, because chances are these appliances are going to be left on your counter at all times. The Ninja and the Instant Vortex get perfect tens. They have sleek, modern looks that don't draw attention to themselves, but still look great when you do notice them. The Breville gets a nine, as while it's also sleek, it has a slightly old-fashioned air about it, thanks to the toaster oven-esque design. Next is ease of setup. For the first and only time, all of these devices get perfect tens. All you need to do is pop them out of the box, give them a quick clean, and you're ready to go. The Breville does need a special 20-minute pre-cook that burns off residue on the inside, but considering you don't need to build any part of it, we call it a win. The testing lab also considers beginner friendliness. Here the Ninja snags a third straight 10 as its control layout is exceptionally clear and easy to use. The Instant Vortex gets a nine since it takes a little time to get the hang of it, especially when using the baskets for different foods at the same time. But for the Breville, we need to dig a little deeper before giving a score. At face value, it can be a bit overwhelming. It's got lots of dials and buttons, and the aforementioned many cooking functions can make even the bravest cook a little nervous. But it's got a secret weapon. It comes with an app for your phone. This app can be used to monitor the preheating and active cooking and send you alerts when your food is done or burnt. But more importantly, it has an autopilot feature that guides you through making recipes and automatically sets the Breville to all the right settings. This is a great way to make new foods while also learning the ins and out of the appliance. So despite the initial complexity, it's the app that helps boost the Breville to a beginner friendliness score of a nine. The final user experience aspect is everyone's least favorite part of cooking, cleanup. The Instant Vortex and the Ninja both get nine here as it's mostly just a matter of cleaning the baskets and giving the exterior a wipe down. The Breville we give an eight, but your score might be lower. None of the trays and accessories are dishwasher safe. 
So if you have a low tolerance for hand washing dishes, keep that in mind, especially since the air frying basket causes a lot of dripping, especially with greasy foods. Here are our final scores. Hopefully they help you pick a product to click on in our description below. The Ninja gets an overall nine. Despite its issues, it remains an excellent choice for small and especially single households. It's also a great way to try out air frying if you're not fully sold on the idea, especially if you can get it on sale. The Instant Vortex gets a 10. Its better performance over the Ninja and the double basket means there's a ton to love, especially for larger households who already have appliances that cover other bases. If you don't have those appliances and you want all the cooking abilities in one fill package, the Breville is another 10 out of 10 choice. If you're a medium or a smaller household that does have those appliances, the heavy cost makes it a little harder to recommend. However, the largest, busiest households might still benefit from the Breville, regardless of other accessories. For example, next time you throw a dinner party, it could save the day by making one of the many side dishes. Hi, I'm Emily DeFazio from bestreviews.com, and this is Ashley Hawk, a registered nutritionist. Today, we're going to walk you through three of the best air fryers we've tested to help make your healthy snacks for your parties this new year. So what are we cooking today? All right, Emily, I am so excited to be here because I absolutely love using my air fryer. Not only is it convenient, but it makes everything taste so good and so consistent and so crispy, right? Yeah. So we've got four different recipes going today. We're gonna be doing chicken wings. We've got some kale chips. We're Ooh. gonna be doing crispy potato wedges. Mm -hmm. And then we've also got a crispy cauliflower and we're gonna be pairing all of them with a buffalo sauce as well as a blue cheese sauce. Now what I love about the air fryer is the fact that it doesn't take very long for your oven to preheat at all. You know, compared to a traditional oven that can take 15 to 20 minutes, these air fryers, they take absolute max five minutes. So it's really gonna shave down some of that cooking time. And on top of that, traditionally cauliflower in the oven's gonna take you at least 25 minutes. This cauliflower was a total of 13 minutes. All the recipes that we're making today is just a, a splash of olive oil, salt and pepper, but you don't even have to use it if you don't want to. So it's kind of an optional thing. You could add some additional seasonings nice. or spices to really customize it to your kind of flavor preference. That's gorgeous. So this is from the Instant Pot Vortex Plus. The cauliflower, we did this in bite-sized pieces. And again, you can see how we have that really even crisp. We only did this for 13 minutes. If you wanted to make it crispier, you could do it for longer, mm -hmm. of course. We're not steaming it or putting it in the oven for too long. We're not gonna risk overcooking it, mm -hmm. which can often happen and you cook out a lot of the nutrients. Mm. So this cauliflower is still gonna have all those great nutrients in there. Let's not forget the kale. Yeah. <laughs> and we got to add a little fresh lemon. We did it at 300 degrees and it only took two to three minutes. What a great chip alternative. All right, Emily, we saved the best for last. Mm. These are our chicken wings. These are just salt and pepper and then the chicken wings, but again, you could add additional seasoning. Oh so. man, okay. They could be hot, be careful. How long did these cook for? So we used these in the Breville and we cooked them at 300 degrees for 20 minutes. And then we turned it up to 400 degrees and did an additional 10 minutes to get that nice crunch. Oh, nice. The skin is crunchy. The It's nice and steaming hot, but it's not like, I'm still definitely gonna eat this whole thing. <laughs> yes, be careful, be careful. Yeah. You don't want to burn your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> if this video helped you make your purchasing decision easier, tap that little bell icon to get notified of all the videos to come.